press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello children, how are you? I hope that all are doing good. Today I am here with you with new lesson. The name of the lesson is the Jalebis. Here is about only Jalebis, is it? I hope that you are also liking this the sweet and crispy, okay, and very delicious in taste. It's awesome to eat, is it? So here also uh, the lesson is about a boy called uh, Ahmad Nadim Khasim and he is also the author of this lesson okay so the story you can take the story our lesson so let's see about the author's introduction Ahmed Nadim Khasim he was born on 20th November 1916 in Ankhah that is in Pakistan so this writer belongs to Pakistan and uh, he was an Urdu language Pakistani poet journalist and literary critic dramatist and also short story writer okay so these are the uh, by the profession he is all these uh, qualities he had and uh, he had honored with some of the awards the awards are pride of performance and uh, sitare imtiaz okay so these are called the awards of uh, pakistan so he had received then now see the works of ahmad nadim khasim that is i swear by you look at my Look at my balance sheet, O Lord of the Day of Judgment. So these are the work of works of Ahmad Nadim Khasim. So this is about the author's introduction. Now let's see about the lesson that is Jalebis. So Jalebi is a <clears throat> story of a boy when the author was at the age of nearly 10 to uh, nearly 12 years of age. Okay, not 12 years. So when he was studying at uh, fifth standard, is it? So here it has not mentioned the, the age of the writer, means uh, when he was a young child, but he was studying in a fifth standard. So here it is the story about uh, um, Ahmad Nadim Khasim when he was a young boy and the story about the tempting jalebis. okay? You know that uh, uh, the children are having more desires. They are tempting suddenly okay suddenly and uh, their desires are lot and if they look the food that they like even the chocolates ice creams and then jalebis if they look this so they are never going to sleep or they're never going to be relaxed they need it at any cost is it so you people also doing with your parents is it but let's say about uh, the story of um, Na Ahmad Nadim Khasmi so which how he played an important role in this and uh, how he has uh, mm, uh, how he had made that jalebi is a very delicious but at last he was a regret he feel guilty okay so why let's see about okay let's see about the story okay jalebis an honest boy is on his way to school carrying money in his pocket to pay the school fees so this Ahmad Nadim Khasmi, so he was an innocent boy, so he carries money, some of money which he has to pay the fees, school fees, okay. So he was carrying a money while he was going to school, okay, to pay the school fees. The sight of crispy, syrupy, uh, syrupy uh, jalebis in the market excites him and the coins in his pocket begin to jingle okay so here when he was uh, when well when he was moving towards the home so he just looked into the jalebis and then so what the amount he had in his pocket it was jingling okay it was jingling after long debate with himself he yields to sweet temptation so there is a debate debate means there is a conversation between the money and also um, this Ahmad Nadim Khasmi that is the writer okay so let's see about this lesson it happened many years ago. I was in the fifth standard at the government school. Okay. Kambelpur now called Atak. So it is actually the real story of um, author. Okay. When he was uh, studying in 
fifth standard and he was living in a place called Kambelpur. So there is a government school. Okay, in that uh, in that city there is a government school. So the name of the uh, place called Kambelpur and now it is called as Atak. Okay. Now one day I went to school with four rupees in my pocket to pay the school fees and the fund. So one day he just went to school with carrying of money. Okay, that is four rupees. Okay, uh, you know, during that period, uh, there is no such kind of a, uh, expense what nowadays we are looking at, is it? So, there is a only, uh, only in some rupees, they are getting a lot of things. So, it is inexpensive. They are not, the, the cost of the um, money is not, the, uh, the value of the money is not higher, okay, comparing to olden days, okay. So, he carries the four rupees for to pay the school fees and... Uh, fund also so fund means it's about a school's uh, procedure okay they have to pay the fees and fund when i got there i found that the te teacher who collected the fees uh, master gulam mohammed was on leave and so the fees would be collected the next day so when he was went to the school so he saw that uh, he got information that uh, the teacher who is collecting money, he was on leave. So, what is the name of the teacher? That is Master Gulam Muhammad. So, he was collected money, means that fees, and he was in he was on leave. And then he got the information that he would be collecting on next day. All through the day, the coin simply sat in my pocket. So, uh, when he was after uh, he got the information, he was in the class, and that coins it was simply sitting in his pocket which were the coins okay then but once school got over I was outside they began to speak what a coincidence it is okay it's a very um, surprised thing so when Ahmad uh, Nadim Khasmi the writer of this uh, story so when he was went out from the school so that started speaking what it is the coins they started speaking with uh, Khasmi okay that is Ahmad Khasmi All right, coins don't talk, they jingle or go khanak khanak. But I am telling you, that day they actually spoke. One coin said, what are you thinking about? Those fresh hot jalebis coming out of the kadavu in the shop over there. They are not coming out for nothing. Okay, so here, now the coins are speaking, speaking with uh, Kasmi. Okay, yeah, that is right up. So how they are speaking here? Coins don't talk. So they are telling that each other. Coins don't talk. They jingle. The jingle means producing sound. When the coins, if, when we are holding it, so it produces the sound. That is called as a jingle sound. And here there is a go khanak khanak is the sound which is produced by the, uh, that is the money. That is, that is called jingling sound, coins. But I am telling you that day they actually spoke. So the sentence which was said by writer. Actually, that day they all, they really they were spoke. Who? Coins. One coin said, what are you thinking about? So among them, among, uh, among that coins, so one coin said that, what are you thinking about? So to whom it was said? It was said to writer. Those fresh hot jelly bees coming out of the kadavu in the shop over there. So in one coin it is saying to the uh, writer that is Ahmad uh, Khasmi that see that there is a hot jelly bees which is coming out from the kadavu. Kadavu is a utensil where uh, uh, the jelly bees is going, cooking in the oil. Okay. So where it is dipping and it is cooking very deeply. So that is called kadavu. Over there they are not coming out for nothing. So that jalebis, it will be not coming for nothing. Jalebis are meant to be eaten. Actually, the, those jalebis which was preparing by the sweet seller, so it is preparing for the eating, okay, not for displaying. And only those with money in their pocket can eat them. So who will eat this? The people who carries money, those only can eat them, okay. And money isn't for nothing. But money is important. So if it is not there, so it is nothing. So you will not get the jalebi. But you have no. So who is saying that coin? Money is meant to be spent and only they spend it who like jalebis. See how they are connected. So the words means the sentence is connected to one uh, sentence to another uh, sentence. Okay. How it is linking here. 
so who will uh, so money is meant to be so money is made to spend okay so then how uh, only they spend it who like the jalebi so who is going to spend the people who likes the jalebi though though people only they are going to spend on the jalebis okay so look like, so this is now look here you four rupees i said to them so who said this uh, ahmed khasmi means ahmed uh, khasmi means nadim ahmed khasmi ahmed nadim khasmi so he said it the writer so it's here i am not going to tell the full name of the ahmed nadim khasmi i am saying writer so when he was a young boy when he was studying at fifth standard so he was in this uh, way in this conversation with the coins okay again and again i am not telling the name of the writer because i am getting little confused with the name okay so here is the writer so the narrator says look here you four rupees i said to them okay so who said that writer said that to coins i am a good boy don't misguide me or it won't be a good for you so don't misguide me so the writer says so don't uh, misguide me don't divert my mind i am a good boy okay so that one is not matter the matter to me the jalebi is or not important for me he said i i get so much at home that i consider even looking at something in the bazaar a sin so whatever whatever the things i need it i get everything at home okay so even the bazaars if i wanted to purchase anything from the bazaar means it is a market anything from the market so it is a sin sin means crime okay it is a crime for the family if you would if you could purchase from the market because everything it is uh, allotted by his family besides you are my fees and fund money and uh, beside that you are my fees money and the fund money if i spend today then how shall i show my face to master gulam mohammad in school tomorrow after that to allah mia at qiyamah you probably don't know it but when master gulam mohammad gets angry and makes you stand on the bench he simply forgets to let you sit till the last bell rings okay so now he is giving a reason who um writer is giving a reasons that he should not spend the money if he spend the money so what will be the causes so he get the punishment he gets the punishment if i spend today if i spend you today okay if i spend that money today on jalebis so the next day there is a problem to me i have to face the uh, teacher call master gulam mohammad in the school tomorrow after that allah mia at qiyamah so when qiyamah means after the death okay after that he was um, he was death so he has to visit he has to meet to allah that is the god okay so how can i show my face i have to meet no if i uh, this the, did this crime if i purchase this with the uh, money of with this is the money of school fees if i used for my desire my uh, that purchase the jalebis so how can i show my face to the teacher and after death how can i show my face to allah okay so like that he said then you probably don't know it but when when uh, master gulam mohammad gets angry so you coins you coins you don't know that if i meet tomorrow uh, to that teacher that is master gulam mohammad he gets angry on me he will get angry on me then and makes you stand on the bench and he may, and he he is also giving me punishment what is kind of a punishment he just allowing me to stand on the bench he simply forgets to to let you sit till the last bell rings it means whole day he is not giving um, permission to sit down okay so till the bell not ring so till then i have to stand on the bench this is the punishment which uh, master means the gulam mohammad is giving to me if i spend this money on uh, jalebis if i not pay the fees school fees so it's best you stop chewing at my ears like this and let me go home straight chewing means uh you know uh, it's called uh, somebody is uh, is giving a ba- uh, wrong suggestions is it so i am not accepting that suggestion but again and again they are forcing me to uh, to take that suggestion is it so here writer is also neglected that words and uh, for neglecting words he said like that okay so it's a best you to stop chewing my ears so don't uh, tell again and again don't uh, try to provoke me okay to get to get the jalebis from the market and uh, let me go home straight so just leave me i just go to home straight 
the coins disliked. Now these coins are disliked. They are not like that. He is going to uh, home rather than to go to shop to purchase jale jalebis. Then what I would said so much that all of them began to speak at the same time. So uh, suddenly all of them started speaking. Okay, When he was ignored, when he was said that I am not going uh, to purchase it, I will go to the home. In. So then suddenly everybody started speaking. Who? Coins. How? There was such a glamour that passes by in the bazaar trade. Means glamour means loud noise. Those coins which is in his pocket, they are producing loud noise. Okay. And then everybody who is passers by, passers by means, so the people who are going uh, nearby him, everyone is staring at uh, right up. Okay. Because of the sound of the coins. Eyes wide with surprise at me and my pocket. Everybody, they open their eyes wide. And they are surprisingly, they are watching at him and, and on his pocket. The coin of those days, they wretched the thing. Made so much more noise too. Finally, in a panic, I grabbed all four of them and held them tight, tight in my in my feast and then they are silent. So in those days, the coin, if the person is holding coin means it is not good sense. Okay. So now he suddenly he was in panic. He was mad. Suddenly he get mad. Okay. About this making a sound. So he has hold on coins on his feast tightly. Okay. I grabbed all four of them and held them tightly in his, in my feast and they were silent. So everyone is silent now. Okay. So who the coins were silent. After taking a few steps, I loosened my grip. Okay, so after he was uh, take uh, means uh, when he was walking a little bit, so he just uh, his grip was loosened. So when he was hold it in a fist, feast, so he was loosened. Okay, after a little bit, then immediately the oldest coin said. So among them four coins, there is an oldest coin. It was said that here we are trying to tell you something for your own good. You try to struggle us in strength. Okay. So we are going to say, we are giving a suggestion. We are giving advice to you for your sake. Okay. For your own sake. But you but you are uh, making us to shut. Okay. Instead of listen our words. Tell me honestly. Now, don't you feel like eating those hot hot jalebis? So one of the oldest coin is asking question to the writer. Tell me one thing. Tell me exactly. So you know that you never liking means don't you feel like that you can't eat in eating those hot hot jalebis means you are not feeling tempting about to eat that hot jalebis. And then if you do end up spending us for today, won't you get the scholarship money tomorrow? Okay, if you spend your money on that uh, jalebis. So on tomorrow you will get your scholarship fees. So why you are worrying about your scholarship fees? You better you just spend for your sake for jalebis to purchase jalebis and tomorrow you will get your scholarship fees. From that you can pay your fees. So that one said by the oldest coin. Sweets with the fees money, fees with the scholarship money. Okay. So that oldest coin said that sweets with the fees money. So you purchase the sweet with your fees money and you will get your fees money with the scholarship okay so like that he said end of story kissa khatam paisa hazam okay see the dialogue it was said by the coins end the story okay don't um, think so much don't think uh, so much about to spend money on the jalebis or not so you just uh, go and purchase the uh, jalebi and uh, tomorrow you will get your scholarship fees so then you fee pay the fees uh, of your school, okay? Then end of the story and then uh, what called? Uh, paisa khatam uh, is called kisa khatam paisa hazam, okay? Means end of the story with spending the money, okay? Then what are you saying isn't right, I replied, but it isn't that wrong either. Okay, now see what happened to the write-up. What that coins are suggesting him, it, actually it is not right way. Okay, but later he thinks that actually it is neither good bad also. It is not a wrong idea also. Okay, like listen, stop blabbering and let, let me think. So blabbering means it's a talking confusedly. So don't uh, creating a confused to me. So let me think means he started thinking. 
who right now i am not a common sort of boy so now again he is giving a reasons okay to the coins that he couldn't purchase that jelly base i am not a common sort of boy i am not a a uh, common boy so which is uh, going to purchase that jalebis for my desire but then these jalebis are no common sort of jalebis either okay but these jalebis also not common one okay so then they are crispy fresh and full of sweet syrup actually these jalebis are also not a common jalebis so these are fresh jalebis these are sweet these are having a crispy texture okay so then and it is full of sweet syrup my mouth watered so suddenly when he was think think about the jalebis his uh, mouth is filled with water means he was tempting with that sweet then uh, but i wasn't about to be swept away so easily in in school i was among the most promising students i but again he was thinking about uh, what kind of a boy he is okay so suddenly he can't be um Uh, take a decision took a decision about he could purchase the jalebi okay and suddenly he think that i am the one in among the school among the students that i am a promising one means one of a good student among the students among the whole school okay he says it in the fourth standard exams i had even won a scholarship of 4 rupees a month so when he was in the fourth uh, standard so that time also he has also earned the scholarship amount that is also the 4 rupees okay for every month he get it besides i came from a particularly well to do family so i enjoyed a considerable prestige so his uh, his family means his family is well prestigious family okay and uh, they are um, provided all those things whatever he needs it so there is uh, nothing to be a uh, um, nothing to be lacked from his family everything everything whatever he needs it the family is provided him it means that so he had a, a respect in the family and also in the society okay his family is well and good it means his family is well and good and he can provide each and everything what he needs and then he get a good respect in the society i would never once been beaten so far so uh, he never committed any pun, any um, mistakes so that's why he has never beaten by his from his family okay so it means that he has never got punishment on the contrary master ji had got me to beat the other boys okay so master ji master ji means teacher okay so teacher of his class so he was also beating to the other boys but not me for a child of such status standing there in the middle of the bazaar eat, eating jalebis okay i am a good prestige in this uh, means in the um, in so school and also in the family the boy is like me is it good to eat the jalebis in the market in the bazaar like this no okay so like this way he is think, thinking no it was not right i decided no actually the boy who is a good um boys and uh, the uh, they are always they are obeying the elders and they are uh, they are very uh, loyal to their families so they were never think to eat they go and they eat it like this way okay uh, so that's why he is also thinking to eat but not this way what he want what he was thinking okay so then suddenly he was desired no it is not right to eat uh, the jalebi is like this way so he said no i clenched the rupee rupees in my fist and came home then again he was took the money in his hand and again he was come back to home okay then the coins were so keen so being spent that day okay the coins are they are in a hurry okay so they are honey hurry that how uh, this writer is going to spend the money on jalebis they are in very hurry who the coins are okay then they kept up their attempts to attempts at persuasion till their voices begin to choke a persuasion means strongly held opinion again these coins are giving a opinion now they are giving a very strong opinion okay strong opinion and their voices begin to choke so again they are uh, their voices started when i reached home and sat on the bed they began to speak so um, before this the coins were insisting him for a twice is it so twice he was went to the bazaar 
and then again he came back see how he was in dilemma how the writer he is in dilemma and he is in a confusion and he couldn't take the decision okay so in other side his needs his needs is not a needs it's a desire to eat he was tempting about the sweet if he could say it to his family the family can also provide it okay but now uh, you know the mind of these is yes, the this boy is very good he was um, he had a, a good and sta good status and prestige in both the school and family but sometimes you know uh, the, who are the good people are they will also commit so many mistakes in their life is it why because they couldn't take a decision what they could and at last what they will think they will think what i am doing that is right because i am doing for my own sake okay always they are going in that way what the Uh, family and what the elders are saying not their own decision okay but now they got a chance the boy like writer means the uh, ahmad nadim khasim now he get a chance to get his own decision decision for own sake okay but sometimes he is thinking about what the people and what the what his family and what the teacher would think about him is it but sometimes he is thinking about himself the people who think about himself no always they were never cared about any people always they, they they just do about what they are thinking but the person like this means the mean the people like this the, that is the writer here the ahmad nadim kasmi so they couldn't take a decision okay but at last they they were never take a right decision when they were following the op means when they were following the advice from the family they are in a right path when they take their own decision they are going in a wrong path means the wrong way okay so this is actually this kind of a story it's about all you people also um, experienced it in your life okay so when you take the decision sometimes it will be the wrong and sometimes it is a right one because unknowingly you took the decision and you don't know what will be the consequences and what will be the results without knowing that you get it you reach to that uh, thing what you wanted to do in your life is it not in your life even the daily things even even the regularly we can do so many things okay we can't take the decision by our own and sometimes we can't ask to the parents if we ask the parents at that time so they will give the proper advice the right advice but actually sometimes they we will think no we why should we say them okay sometimes we think and we started hiding it from our parents okay we make it as a secret is it so that that is the uh, a big mistake okay when we hiding when we kept that one is a secret so that is the big mistake what you did you know, the parents will also understand it okay the parents understand that for what reason you have done it but actually you hide that thing from your parents or from your uh, brothers and sister who are elders and uh, from your teachers what you did then also you are not saying okay so that becomes a crime okay so doing this when you go and purchase with this, this money also it is not crime if you not say this to your family or your well wishers or your guardian so that is the crime here okay so just why i wanted to tell you this more clearly actually he is having desire you you people also having so many desires no when you hide your uh, things what you have done is it so then then it, then it is called as a sin okay rather than then if you go and say to your parents and if your uh, brothers and sisters who are elder or your teachers also that is not a sin there is a solution for that is it for every problem there is a solution any kind of it is but when we not say that now the problem and the uh, the mistakes it becomes a crime and sin okay if we not say that in a right time in a right way so that becomes a sin or a crime so i wanted to tell you this one okay so why this boy is in he is in a confusion okay so i wanted to clarify you people why this boy is in a confusion because he wanted to purchase for for his own sake but he can't take, but he couldn't take the decision and always he get tempting you know here uh, the coins are speaking actually actually the coins are never speaking because it is a lifeless thing there is no life but here writer given the imaginary imagination that coins uh, has a, that those coins had a life okay they are speaking 
actually who is speaking here our mind okay our mind our instinct is saying it okay sometimes you know we are not going to take a decision which is a right and which is a wrong whether i have to take this decision or that decision so what there is a confusion in our mind okay so now what the confusion in our mind no the writer has given the name called coins okay here it is the mind the mind is thinking both positive and negative but the writer has given uh, the life things to the coins okay so this is the story here okay i wanted to explain you uh, rather than this lesson okay this is i hope that you all are understanding now okay what i have explained you and this is also one of a good point to um i wanted to add here okay when i reached home and sat down on bed they began to speak again the coins are speaking okay when he was went home and was on the bed so again these coins are speaking i went inside to have a lunch they began to shriek shriek means to utter sharply and shrilly okay so when he was having his lunch in his home so then suddenly these coins were shrinking shrink means they are producing utter sharply they are producing sound thoroughly fed up i rushed out of the house and barefoot and ran towards the bazaar now he was fed up with this okay these coins are jingling they are producing noise and then they are advising him like this now he become fed up he was he was tired of this is it fed up means tired of these things so suddenly without barefoot barefoot means he was not over his sandals or slippers without any uh, wearing of the sandals and slippers he went to the he went directly to the bazaar then terrified i was but quickly i told the halwai to weigh a whole rupee worth of jalebis okay so that he wasn't terrified he was in horror terrified means he is in a shocked and in a uh, horror that and he said to the halwai halwai means uh, the uh, the sweet seller okay uh, tell to him told to him that to pack a uh, a one rupee means a whole rupee whole rupee means it's a worth of 1 rupee jalebis pack for me weigh means to take uh, give it me that 1 uh, rupees of jalebis okay this is uh, then his astonished look look seemed to be asking where i had the hard hand cart in which i would carry all those jalebis uh, that uh, halwai he was astonishment he was in shocked then how can he carries those uh, those many jalebis in his hand okay means he hasn't uh, carries the handbag that's why those were inexpensive times means those period it was very inexpensive the things uh, if we give 1 rupee also the quantity it is in a uh, in a large size okay the large in size which one the quantity okay it is very inexpensive nowadays we, there are so many expensive things are there easily it is it is not getting in a 1 rupee okay there is no uh, uh, we are not getting so many things what the earlier days means the olden days they are getting all those thing all those things okay so this is it was very inexpensive times so he will get so many jalebis in a 1 rupee 1 rupee fetched more than 20 rupees does nowadays so 1 rupee fetched more than 20 rupees so 1 rupee is equal to nowadays 20 rupees okay and the halwai opened up a whole newspaper and heaped a pile of jalebis on it so then halwai that is the sweet seller he just opened the newspaper and he was heaped heaped means it's a large quantity of things it's a large quantity of jalebi he kept on the newspaper and it's a pile of jalebi in it pile of means it's a group of jalebi it's a huge of jalebis okay this is so so many jalebis you can you can say huge jalebis it's a so many jalebis are there okay so that is called pile of jalebis so this part i will i wanted to stop here i will continue it on next class okay i hope that you people also enjoying this lesson jalebis so if you want to eat you go and tell to your parents okay don't do like this what the writer was did when he was uh, studying at fifth standard whatever the age it is okay but don't hide anything from your parents is yes, they will give you parents will provide you all the things what you needs okay what you people need it but it takes a time if they want to give you so they will they will give you suddenly and they, it takes a time to whatever uh, the desire you wanted 
uh, it takes a time yeah, and you have to wait for a little bit. You have to be in patience, okay? So this is the story I wanted to tell. Uh, I'll continue the second part in the next class. Till then, all of you stay home, keep learning. Thank you.